All right, guys, what is up? I am Howie, and you are watching the Go Ride channel. Today on the channel, I'm going to be putting the Ducati back together and making the last little preparations ahead of World Superbikes at Laguna Seca, uh, which is next weekend. It's 4th of July right now, so don't judge me if it takes me forever to edit this video. I already changed the oil on the bike. I went through and I kind of nut and bolted everything, just checked my hose clamps, checked the tightness of my side stand bracket, did all of that kind of little stuff. Um, put the safety wire back on. Oil changes, you know, on this bike with the Akrapovic exhaust is a nightmare. So that's out of the way. Done. In putting the bike back together, I had the bright idea. I've always thought this bike kind of looks a little futuristic, a little Batmobile. And so I kind of want to do like a tricolor Tron thing. So I'm going to try that today. And that's the subject of this video. So I've got the bike apart. I'm going to go through, I'm going to hit the fairings with some uh, rubbing alcohol, and then I'll kind of lay everything out with masking tape as far as center lines and stuff like that goes. And then I've, I've got this reflective red, white, and green pinstriping tape or vinyl, sign vinyl. I don't know how this is going to go on and as far as making some of these curves. I may need to use some heat. I'll use some Bondo spatulas. Whatever I got to do to try to get this on. If it sucks, then you probably won't see this video. If it's awesome, you will see it. So as I mentioned before, I got some rubbing alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the bike down to try to degrease it as much as possible. So that way the adhesive on my little sign vinyl sticks. I will actually make an attempt to hit this with some like quick detailer after we get the sign material on, but I don't want to do anything right now that might jeopardize the adhesion because I really don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to start on the tank and then work my way to the front fairing and try to hit some of the more difficult spots on this bike. I will remount this uh, before I go through and do the sides. I think I pretty much just have to get this uh, it's actually without the backing on it. It goes on pretty easily. I'm just going to try to follow this body line here as closely as I can. But you know what? This is got to be cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. So on the Italian flag, the green is on the left side and because I'm going to be on the bike, I'm going to do the left side of the bike in the green. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the front here.
now that I got all this, the tape on the bike, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I'm just gonna push the tape as best I can down. There's gonna be some spots down along the bottom of the bearing where there's oil just in the fiberglass. Um, but I probably am not gonna be able to get it to stick the way that I want it to, but it is what it is. All right, Here's the finished product. Now, is it perfect? No. Was it meant to be? Not really. We're talking about $22 worth of sign material. I think it's got some eyeball. I think it's gonna be unique, but it's definitely, this bike is not a show bike. It's been crashed and hit enough times. So with that guys, hopefully you can do something fun, something creative and get out there, go ride. Um, yeah, get after it. On a side note, my wife got this plant less than two weeks ago from her grandmother for our anniversary. You could say that it was a love daisy. It's now dead.